guys, it is Alexis and Lillian here. And today we're going to be doing a, another German lesson. It's going to be words based around your trip to Berlin. Why are we doing this video? Well, it seems like the whole world is moving to Berlin, us included. <laughs> If you don't already know, Alexis and I are moving to Berlin next month. I'm originally from Berlin, but Alexis has visited twice and I haven't lived there in a while, so we're just moving back. Mm -hmm. So I thought I would teach Alexis some sort of basic terms that are good to know around Berlin and thought I would be teaching you guys as well because always good to know, right? Putting your glasses on. Student classes. <laughs> First of all, how do you say Berlin in German? Berlin. Got it? Yeah. Ding! So Berlin street food. We have the currywurst, <laughs> which is, it's basically just, um, you're like, a, like a normal sausage, but it's cut into little pieces and then they mix it with like a ketchup, tomato sauce, and then put sprinkle curry on top of it. You can eat it with fries or just like that. And it's like a nice little snack for on the go. Mm. There are also some places that serve vegetarian currywurst and it can be actually pretty good. Currywurst. 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 Yeah. Here we are with the R again. If you don't know how to pronounce a German R, check out this video. She is still struggling with it even oh. after the video, but she's just not been practicing, so. So, so currywurst. Currywurst. Yep. Yes! Perfect. Um, next up, what's also really popular is... Duna. The Duna, yes. Du Duna. Which is sort of like a variation of like kebab, shawarma, gyros, all that stuff. I don't really remember what type of meat it is, but I also don't really care because I don't eat it. But it's good to know <laughs> because there's a lot of them. So, Döner. Döner. Yeah. So it's the little O with the umlaut, which the sound is Ö. Döner. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so another thing is... This is obviously not just Berlin specific, this is just the German term in general. But um, if someone talks about a Weg beer, it means the beer that you have on your way to going somewhere, sort of you're pre drinking on the way. So, for example, if you're going to a club somewhere, you're like, yep, I'm just gonna pick up my Weg beer and then I'll see you there. So, uh, Weg is way, uh -huh. and beer, beer is, of beer. course, beer. So, Weg beer. Weg beer. Yeah. Weg. Weg? Mm -hmm. Weg beer. Weg beer. Perfect. And where would you buy such a big beer? For example, at a Späti. So what a Späti is, it's um, actually the abbreviated form for Spätkauf, which means late buy. So there are sort of little convenience stores that are open until the late hours, sometimes even during the whole night. They have a lot of stuff like usual like candy. ice cream, chocolate bars, booze, and of course, yes, a lot of alcohol and stuff. So that's where you would get your big beer. So, Spätkauf, but everyone just calls it a Späti. 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 So that would mean Leti in German. Spät. What else can you get at a Späti? You can get Club Martin. Without the end. Club Mate. Club Mate. So Club Mate is a drink that has a lot of caffeine in it. People like to like an energy just drink. drink it like on its own or they mix it with alcohol, like for example with vodka or something like that. It's like an energy drink. Yeah, but it's natural. So oh, it's it? not like Red Bull or anything like that. Ah, I see. Club Mate. Really important when you're trying to get somewhere, Berlin has a huge transit system. It can be quite intimidating, it's but it's very intimidating. There is the U-Bahn. U-Bahn. So U-Bahn is 
the underground or metro, or subway, subway, whatever you want to call it. U-Bahn is short for underground train. U-Bahn. U-Bahn. Wo ist die nächste U-Bahn? Means where's the next subway stop? Wo ist, wo ist die nächste U-Bahn? Oh, say it again. Wo ist die nächste U-Bahn? Nächste U-Bahn. Perfect. Now you're gonna know how to get home. U-Bahn. So, what do we have apart from the U-Bahn? We have the S-Bahn. This is uh, like the train that goes overground, but it's not the regional train. S-Bahn. S-Bahn. Perfect. S-Bahn. You know how some places have like the, the you need to share a ticket to get through the barrier? Berlin doesn't have that. That means that there are a lot of people who check your tickets on the trains. A oh, lot. It's, it's so scary. But they don't have their uniforms on, and what they do is when they're on the train, the doors close, they're gonna say, Die Fahrkarten bitte. That means, your tickets please. And the people who do check the tickets in the end, you don't think that it's no. anyone like You would that. think like, oh, like he just, like, he's like half drunk getting home from like somewhere, but it's like, nope, he's checking your ticket and they get paid commission for each person So they, they want catch. to catch you. So just watch out for that. Die Fahrkarten bitte. Die Fahrkarten bitte. If you get caught with it, I think the fine is something like 60 euros or 70, it keeps going up, so... The Berliners aren't necessarily the friendliest people. <laughs> um, there is a thing called, we call it the Berliner Schnauze. And what is what? The okay. Berliner Schnauze. What is it? It means the Berliner snout. So they're like a dog snout? Like up in the nose? No, no, no. Air. It's kind of like to define the Berliner humor, which is very like, or even just a way of talking. It's very like to the point, not very sensitive, can be like pretty rough, rude, maybe even a little offensive, but they don't mean it in a mean way. They say it's like their own charm, but a lot of people don't find it very charming. Mm -mm. But you can't say they because I'm sure there's a lot of people who are very nice in Berlin who of are course, from Berlin. Of course, of course. But I'm just explaining what Berliner Schnauze means. Oh, okay. Is this typical of especially people who have grown up in Berlin are technically usually like the older generation. They're not going to be like, oh yes, of course, blah blah blah, very like considerate and respectful, but more like to the point, like, hey, do you have this or not? If not, then get out of the way, sort mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. So that's the Berliner Schnauze. I'm scared. <laughs> Flohmarkt. Flohmarkt. That's the flea market. Aww. There's a bunch of good ones in Berlin. The one at the Mauerpark in Prenzlauer Berg. Used to be really popular, but now all the tourists are always going to it. So the prices have gone up and it's super crowded. Everything on Sundays in Berlin is closed. So there's not ter terribly much to do. But yeah, you can go to the flea market there. But there's a lot of great other Flohmarkts around. Mm. So Flohmarkt. Flohmarkt. Exactly. Speaking of Sunday, what else can you do on Sunday if everything's closed? Well, you could, for example, spend the afternoon in Bergheim. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. You might have heard of it, it's like a very well-known, somewhat controversial club in Berlin. Yes, it's known because of its strict door policy, blah blah blah. blah. But that is another story. <laughs> but Berg Berghain is how you say it. I think I want to just, because it's always good if you move to a new city to have some sort of idea of what the different areas are. Or just visiting. Even just visiting. Just stopping by. Kreuzberg, where I was born and my origins from come from. It means cross mountain, by the way. Mm. Kreuzberg. Kreuzberg. Yeah. Lots of bars. Used to be more of like an immigrant neighborhood in some sort of way still is a little bit, but a lot of like young people, lots of hip places, blah, blah, blah. Hip places? One of the, one of the like most popular areas in Berlin, I would definitely say. Yeah. The Friedrichstein. Friedrichstein, yeah. Friedrichstein. So this is, was East Berlin. Well, it's, it is still East Berlin, but you know, like before the wall, it was on the other side of the wall. Mm -hmm. Um. One of my favorite areas because it just feels so like raggedy and run down and melancholic and I like that kind of stuff. 
Neukölln. Neukölln. That's where my sister lives. <clears throat> Neukölln, oh. when I last lived in Berlin around 2010, it was only starting to come up a little. It was more like the area where no one wanted to live, but Berlin's constantly changing and now it's one of the like most in spots of the city. Again, really a lot though? of like artists, young people, lots of bars, lots of stuff to do. I don't really like it in that area. No, I can't. It means new Cologne. Hmm. Um, new Cologne? Like ch ch Cologne, the city. Yeah. There's this project in Berlin and a few other German cities as well that they have a lot of photo booths distributed across the city where you can take like sort of old style analog photos. They turn out your, really, really nice. With you and your friends. Most of them are like black and white. Yeah. yeah? And yeah, we, we took a bunch, just the two of us. But this is what they look like. And... You will see them with the sign called Photo Automat. Exactly. I mean, we could go into the really touristy things. Brandenburger Tor is the main popular monument that is on the, all the postcards. The Brandenburg Gate. Say it. Brandenburger Tor. Brandenburger Tor. Branden. Branden. Brandenburger Tor. Not Braca. <laughs> Brandenburger. Brand Brandenburger Tor. Yeah. Wo ist das Brandenburger Tor? Brandenburger Tor. <laughs> Ein Bier bitte. If you're at the bar, that's a pretty good thing to yeah. know. Yeah. Ein Bier bitte. Yeah. That means one beer, please. Yes. And then what do you say when they get to you? Thank you. And then what do you say when you say bye? Tschüss. Perfect. <laughs> I can order a beer. You're going to be just fine in Berlin. I'm doing good. Yeah, ready to go to Berlin. Ready to go to Berlin? Ready to go. Perfect. Pack the bags. All right, guys. So that was my complete fail of how to say <laughs> German words essential for Berlin. We hope you learned something. I did. Of course, I know there's going to be a lot of criticism coming if I didn't explain a term about Berlin property. I'm sorry about that, but if you want to criticize, then please let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys, or danke fürs Zuschauen. We wish you a fun time in Berlin, whether you're just visiting or living there or just fantasizing of going there one day. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We love the support and all the views and all the likes and yeah. And if you're new here, click the little red subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss any of our other videos. Or maybe you will, I don't know. Anyways, yeah. See you at the next one, guys. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.